Hello, hi, welcome to another 20 minutes till dawn video. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a pretty good day today. I was hoping to get some more uh, runs in on the new endless mode before it inevitably got easier. Because I personally really liked the difficulty that it had in, in its previous iteration, but unfortunately, didn't take them very long to start tweaking that a bit. So it did, it did get a bit easier. The HP scaling is lower now. Um, and... Uh, you can take five stacks of an upgrade instead of three. This is important for a couple reasons. Stalwart shield, since the new change takes the cooldown of shield and halves it instead of lowers it by a flat amount, starting at two, going to, so first upgrade, one, then 30, 15, 7.5, and then three point whatever, it was something. Three points, what is this? Oh God, math almost a little under four seconds we'll say right so basically what i'm trying to say here is that uh endless mode got easier but not by a huge amount not by some sort of crazy amount but definitely a little bit easier hp is going to be lower on enemies and i i assume all of the spawns and stuff are still the same so i'm pretty excited a lot of people mentioned in because i released two videos yesterday about it because i was so excited to play the game in the new difficult endless mode but people mentioned that the glare build is still very strong multiple copies of glare is still very good especially because frostbite is still percent health based so uh especially with the now increase on on frostbite as well it's going to make things pretty good for that build we're gonna be playing shauna because it just makes sense to me right if we're going for a glare build frost or shauna not only has the halo to increase vision range she also has the ability to reroll, which would be very important we're still gonna be playing the grenade launcher because i think the grenade launcher is pretty important for actually getting kills even though hp scaling is slower now i think it's still gonna be pretty important here so that out of the way let's hop in let's play runes don't matter because we cannot use them um and let's let's hop let's hop in here and see what happens i'm pretty excited although again i i really i was really excited for the current uh iteration of endless mode or the previous iteration of endless mode i thought it was gonna be really cool it was like a puzzle it was like a puzzle that we had to solve although i felt like the glare build was kind of like cheating but i do want i need i need to try it out to see how strong it is to get, get a sense of it myself well that didn't take long to get glare, or to get frost, I mean. Now we just need to get some glare in the mix here. Just gotta remember, the hardest thing about Shauna, I think we can probably all agree about this, the hardest part about playing Shauna is remembering that she has the ability to reroll. It's so easy just to be conditioned into playing every other character. But you know what, I, I gotta say, like, the comparison is pretty easy to the Binding of Isaac. I never forget that Isaac has the D6. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's like a, like, I, I have physical representation that I can see of it all the time. Jeez, okay, well, that wasn't tough. We got Glare. We got Frost. We're doing it, everyone. Not doing much yet, but it will, it'll get there. I have faith. The internet wouldn't lie to me about the Glare build being good, right? Oh, there's Sight Magic, too. That's a really important part of this build as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, what are we talking about? I don't know. I don't remember anymore. Oh yeah, the reroll. I, I always forget to reroll on Shauna. Luckily we haven't had to because we've just gotten perfect drops so far. Um, but it, uh, in the, the comparison, like I said, Isaac from the Binding of Isaac, yo, it just keeps happening, man. Um, Isaac has the physical representation of the D6 that, lets you, that reminds you, and you're constantly thinking about, you know, getting charges for it again and stuff like that, and optimizing it. Whereas Shauna just, again, she has a, a visual reminder. There's a little box that says reroll, but my brain glazes over when I see the reward screen and I just pick something and then go. So, yeah, I will, I will keep taking intense glare. Important to note, the damage boost from intense glare is now additive not multiplicative so you go from dealing times two damage to times three damage to times four damage not two to four to eight um still though again according to people still very oppressive i'm excited to see how oppressive it really is 
And it just, just especially with the new upgrade, it's gonna be pretty nuts. I have a sneaking suspicion. Here, here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll cut the video once it's like, you know, once the the build is set up correctly and it like, you know, the, the possibility of losing is like not existent. Cause like, we, we don't wanna sit, see me sit around still for an hour, right? More or less. Saccade, pretty good, but I think I take our first, our first dip into Frostbite here. Seems like a good choice to me, at least. We do need to start getting saccades as well. I, uh, one thing that we can talk about here is the tearless video. I did, I did record it, if you don't know, because there's a lot of people watching these videos who haven't watched me do anything else on YouTube before. Uh, a good friend of mine collaborated with him a lot before with Monster Train content. You called him up on the Discord. We're gonna reroll this, by the way. This all sucks. I guess we take Pyromage. I don't love these though, but whatever. Again, on hit effects on bullets is a thing. Look, I called up my friend Voix, fellow fellow Monster Train uh, man, and we talked about Twenty Minutes Till Dawn. Talked about the uh, perks, which is kind of interesting because I'll be honest. When it comes to Monster Train, I don't. I'm not. I'm not bad at the game, but in regards to the people who you know make content of the game, I think it's fair to say. I am one of the worst, like, you know, you know, you know, uh, also, let me take a cicade here. You know, you know, in Pirates of the Caribbean, when, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow is, uh, hold on a second. Okay, we gotta specialize, it's pretty cool. You know how when Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, is doing his, his, you know, swashbuckling. Hold on, let's see what we got here. Oh. Absolutely, yeah, we're we're set. So yeah, now now we're in the kill everyone zone here, basically. Oh, the trees are not having it. We're gonna be in AFK mode for a little while here, but you know how you know how in the Pirates of the Caribbean, like Captain Jack Sparrow is swashbuckling around, and there's people who are like, you know, you're the worst pirate I've ever heard of, and then he goes, well, you have heard of me. That's kind of my relationship with Monster Train, where people, people, like, you know, I think it's fair to say, maybe, maybe I'm tooting my own horn here a bit, but I think it's fair to say that I am a slightly notable <laughs> Monster Train content creator, but I think it's also fair to say that I am one of the least skilled of the slightly notable Monster Train players. Um, so whenever I did content with Voix and especially with, with uh, Rising Dusk, who is, I think, by most people's account, the actual just best player of the game. Like, I'm like Captain Jack Sparrow, and he's, I don't know, Davy Jones? It, but when I was, you know, when we did the tier list with Voyax, it was interesting to be in sort of a, an inverse of the situation, where it was kind of like I was the one speaking from more experience. What I'm trying to say is, I'm beating around the bush here, recorded a video with my good friend Voyax. I think the video was really good and fun, Voix, my friend who does Monster Train content with me before, uh, was very entertaining in the video, and I'd recommend it. And I think it'll be coming out after this video. I think I'm gonna post this one first. Also, oh shit. We can't, we can't just- oh, he's dead. Never mind, we can't just AFK forever. Sick. Um... I guess the glare isn't based off our bullet damage, so just Tomb of Elements is better for us? Sure. Whatever, right? Yeah, I think we're about to enter AFK mode, which is unfortunate, but hey, maybe, maybe, uh, listen, I think for first things first, cap at three was okay. Cap at five, unnecessary. Frostbite needs to be fixed as well too. Right now, right now the glare build's working. Honestly, just, just revert everything. I, I don't want to be rude, but I was having a lot of fun in the previous iteration of the game. Of endless mode, and I want I do want it back desperately, because I wanted to get like really good runs on like you know imagine imagine you're playing Monster Train on like Covenant twenty five, and you're having a great time. You're trying to figure out how to win, and then the devs are like, actually you no, know, we've decided that Covenant twenty five is too hard, so we've rolled the game back to Covenant twenty. That's the maximum difficulty. I would be pissed. I'd be very upset, and that's kind of how I feel right now. Although it's not that big of a deal, but it's a little bit how I feel. I wanted to figure out the game on that difficulty. I wanted it to be harder. 
Uh, these are all great choices. Now, what I'm curious about here, if the cap is at five, I guess maybe the specialized doesn't count towards the cap. So let, let's take a look here. Hold on. Because we had Cicade. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm guessing these two don't actually count towards the cap. So we can get to, well, I guess in theory we could get to, I mean, if we just hit Cicade on all of these, right? Because we're gonna, we can get multiple copies of the triple up perk too. We can go beyond five still too. We can do some insanity. Um, you know what we'll do actually, here's, here's my mission for this run. I'm not saying that I am a good game developer. <laughs> Again, I feel like every time I have to talk about this, no, not, not that I have to, I, I want to talk about this. Every time I talk about game balance and stuff, not my game. I didn't make this game a very smart person who knows how to program and came up with a good concept and executed on that concept, made this game. And they're, you know, they should trust their gut when it comes to stuff like this. So, you know, fair, right? But, and I, I imagine Darkness 15 is not the intended end point of difficulty for this game. Not much of a reason for there to be, right? Like, why not keep making the game harder, I guess? But I don't know. I don't make the rules, right? Um, let's... My my goal here on this run is to prove two things, basically. I want to prove two things. And we're going to keep playing this run until we prove them. I want to prove that five is too high of a perk cap. And I want to prove that... Um, Frostbite is not good. Frostbite is bad in its current iteration, right? Those are the, those are the two goals that I am setting out with here today. Um, I will keep taking uh, various glare upgrades. Tense glare is a pretty good one. Well, so we'll see if we can do that, right? And if we can't, you know, whatever. I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. But I bet, so here, here's here's the thing, right? We need to hit a triple up with Shauna on a, uh, we need to hit a triple up on a stalwart shield. And if we can do that, that would put us at seven copies max of stalwart shield. If I'm understanding how this works, right? If I'm understanding correctly that uh, getting hitting, hitting Shauna's triple up bypasses the the uh, perk limit currently in the game, right? Let's uh, re-roll this, I think. Okay. Frostbite's an easy. Right, if I'm understanding correctly... Oh my god, he's fucking dead. I didn't want to triple up here. Hold on, can I... I had to take it, I think, actually. I don't think, leaving it means you're just skipping it. So we're not getting the triple up here on, on the shield this time. However, keep in mind, we can see triple up uh, three more times still after this. So we have plenty of time to find it. We need to priority number one, uh, holy shield. Priority number two, kill everything. Shouldn't be that hard. Uh, I guess I'll take a frost mage. We got to make sure we actually do guarantee inflict frost on our, our, uh, our gaze hits. Still pretty important. Not that it matters that much. We're triggering so fast. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not saying, listen, important to note here, I'm not saying spam, spam links to this video anywhere or anything, but if you see people discussing, uh, if you see people discussing uh, the current balance of the game anywhere, I would appreciate it if you said, hey, saw a video of a person in the current version of endless mode do some fucked up shit that was more or less the same as people were doing uh, in the first iteration of Endless Mode, which is the whole the, the whole point of the sweeping changes to Endless Mode was more or less to stop the shit right now that's happening from happening. That was the, in my, like, again, I'm inferring here. Maybe I shouldn't be, right? But it seemed like the intended purpose was to make it so that this wasn't possible. Like, that, that Endless Mode was a challenge and not a matter of endurance. I could be wrong there. Maybe, maybe this is the intended way to play the game, right?
This feels wrong though, right? You saw me you saw me playing like I mean maybe you didn't see it. Maybe this is the first time you're watching my videos. Hello, hi. Welcome to the YouTube. I'm Cranberry. Nice to meet you. Um But if you watch my previous videos of the new endless mode, first off, I was having so much fun. Second off, um I was trying to play the game, I don't want to say normally because that's kind of like rude, but I was trying to play the game by using my gun to kill enemies. That was how I was playing it. This is not, well, first off, I couldn't even get to shoot him. This, this feels wrong and bad and not good and it should not be possible. We're going to skip these because these are all terrible for us. But this, this, I think we can all agree this is incorrect, right? Like, there's no one out there being like, this is how I enjoy playing the game. And who are you to tell me? Hey, if, if you are, listen, more power to you. Get good culture is an, is an annoying meme. But I think most people can agree that this is not like, I don't think this is intended, right? Agreed? Probably, maybe, I don't know. You could, you could, I guess you could argue that, like, hey, you had to, you had to take the perks, you know, when they were bad to get them this good, right? Like, Lair is not that good on its own. You need to, you know, take 12 different saccades to make it useful. But I don't know. I'm ranting, but I just, I'm ranting because I have nothing to talk about now. <laughs> this is it, basically. Uh, XP, you know, we should have taken that Tome of Speed before, because now XP is really annoying to pick up. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a misplay. We need Tome of Speed. I took a Tome of Elements before, I think, right? That was stupid of me. That was so stupid. I wish we were moving faster, man. XP takes so long to pick up. Okay. I'll give me another Cicade. I think Cicade will stop showing up in the tree now. Because that is Cicade number 7, if I remember correctly. And if Cicade shows up again, that means we fucked up somewhere. We, we, we really severely messed up and either the game is just programmed wrong and there's no cap or Shauna's triple up has somehow just broken it entirely and made it so that way uh, tripling up any perk allows you to go past the normal limit. I guess, I don't know. Um... And I should note too, this this build is better now, obviously, because of you know the bullshit we pulled off. But this even even in the like, one thing I want to note, even in the previous version of the game, this would still be happening. Even in the previous version of Endless, I should say, prior to the prior to the nerf to to Endless, um, this would still be happening. I, I think this is a problem with glare and with. Uh, Again, frostbite is going to be, you know, we're not seeing it yet, but it's going to be an issue with frostbite at some point. Actually, maybe it'll never be. Maybe it will never, act. maybe glare damage will be enough because it's ticking. The tick rate is unbelievably high right now. Right? We have an absurd tick rate on the actual, uh, on the actual damage we're dealing. Like, look at that, though. My man, my man just got choked out. So I don't know, maybe this wouldn't be as bad because we wouldn't have seven cicades, we'd only have five. Oh no. Yeah, listen, listen to that. That's not, that just sounds stupid. Obviously, that would still be an issue if we had five cicades instead of seven in this run. We're not picking up the chest because we need to get we need to get holy shield prepped for tripling up. Okay, these are all no good. Roll it. And I guess we'll take glare. These are all maybe we can take pyro pyro mage too, but no. What if we didn't? Okay, back to the center. And we wait. And we relax. Wish I had my phone. Shoot. Could like, I don't know, look at Twitter or something. Not a very active Twitter user. But I, I did make a tweet today. Which was interesting. I don't recommend following me on Twitter. I make like two tweets a year. They're not even good jokes. Twitter, Twitter, I have no, I have no affinity towards it one way or the other. It's fine. You know, the people, people treat it like some sort of weird hellscape and stuff like that, but it's like, you know, 
it's the same it's the same deal with reddit too where like people are like oh it's a cesspool it's a stupid thing it's like i i the, the it's probably more of an issue of you if you're looking at cesspools on twitter it's probably because you're you're seeking it out and i'm sure there's plenty of just you know normal shit like you know i look at reddit all the time i go to the subreddits i like and that's it i don't go around you know looking at weirdo shit I don't go to, to Am I the Asshole to find out if it was okay that I was racist. Like, it's just, I don't know. There's Holy Shield. I just feel like, you know. Whatever. But the sites are good. I mean, there, there are obviously cesspools on all of those sites. Also, you're not even going to come close to hitting me. There are, there are cesspools and stuff on those sites, but like... If you don't actively seek them out, you don't really experience much of it. So, I don't know. We're in the box, aren't we? <laughs> oh, Tomb of Speed. Yes! Perfect. The uh, box didn't get much smaller. Does it not get smaller anymore? That's kind of a shame. Also, I don't think that was in the patch notes. Oh, is it getting smaller now? It's getting smaller now a little bit, but not by much. Maybe it is smaller. I don't know what I'm talking about, actually. You know, you should you should probably ignore most of the words that I say. Now that I think about it, probably a smart move. Um, let's try to get some XP here. Okay, half of it's outside of the zone. If we're forced to, I'll take a magnet, but... I prefer not to take it because then it opens up other perks that show up, which will be annoying and detrimental to our success here today. Let's let's try it and not. Okay, I'll take a magic sight and just increasing our, our glare range to absurd absurd reach. I don't know. I don't. This is genuinely an interesting question because I don't know how you balance glare. Spoilers for the tier list video, by the way. I ranked Glare as the worst ability. And the tr I, but as, uh, something to keep in mind, that we, when we did the uh, tier list, we didn't do each individual perk, we ranked them as a tree. So we did, we talked about all of the, all of the, the Glare perks in one package, in one bundle or whatever, right? Uh, and I ranked the Glare perk as the worst perk, specifically for, for playing the game normally. At darkness 15 not going for any sort of like like high high kill count nothing like that just trying to win the game at darkness 15 was how we, we ranked it um and i glare i think is the worst ability in the game i think it's the worst tree i it was the we had like in the tiers it was the only one that was in the very bottom tier um all by itself because it just doesn't go into any builds uh it the, tri the triple shauna cicade build is fine but it's it's as far as I'm concerned, just strictly inferior to the triple Shauna stalwart shield build, and the reason why I think it's strictly inferior is that both of them more or less auto win the game. But you have to keep in mind that if you, the the hold on, sorry, let's take divine wrath here to get stalwart shield to show up. So you have to keep in mind that when you're evaluating those, right, stalwart shield by itself is an amazing perk. You do not need to triple it up to do well. Um, I have no you take here. It's more glare vision, right? You don't you don't have to triple up, uh, stalwart shield for it to be good. Just by itself, it's already good. If you miss on the triple up on Cicade, Cicade kind of sucks. Like the just having just having all of the things in glare, it's not that good. So I don't know. And to keep in mind that you do need kind of all of them to work, basically. Like if you're missing, if you're missing, uh, what the fuck? How long have those been here? <laughs> if you're missing magic eye, you can't, you can't freeze enemies, which is a big issue, right? If you're missing saccade, you're getting less ticks, which is not good. If you're missing the double damage, you're missing double your damage, right? So there's, there's big issues with the build in normal play. Where it shines, though, is when you can uh, take multiple copies. Because then you can extend your vision range way beyond what you normally can, right? Like, this is, this is like, 
twice as far, basically, range-wise, as Shauna could get in the normal game with Halo, with all of the glare perks, and, like, tripling up one of the glare perks, too, probably, right? This is, like, half of the vision that she would normally have. So, yeah. We're gonna take Divine Blessing here, and we're gonna start picking up these chests and hoping that one of them is triple up. What do we got? Okay, I will take this. It's not triple up, but it's pretty good. How about you? Okay, we got the triple up now. We're looking for a stalwart shield. If we hit stalwart shield, we're good. We can just kind of cruise the rest of the game, picking up experience, and we should be able to wrap this video up pretty quickly just to demonstrate why it is so absurdly strong. We could, we could play this forever, and as long as... I mean, I made a video about it more or less doing the same thing when the game first came out. But we'll basically just be sitting here. Enemies will never get close enough to hurt us. And the game will crash because there'll be too much experience particles on the, sh on the screen. Uh, we're never going to pick it up because we have higher vision range than we have... Uh, <laughs> than we have... Uh, pickup range. And... Uh, I guess what happened in my video actually wasn't that the game crashed. It was that the... Uh, the electric fences eventually got so small that they started bumping my character around because they, they wrapped in on me and started pushing me and eventually one of them pushed me into a boss drop so hey what's up speaking of which oh he's dead can i get some more speed please i forgot we had the triple up i'm an idiot well do you think if i skip it won't trigger the triple up let's let you know hey a little bit of science today a little bit of science today if you skip that what happens to the triple up? Let's find out. These all suck. I guess fight magic's okay. We're looking for a stalwart shield. Okay, moment of truth. Science, what happened? It did still triple up the stalwart shield. That's very interesting. Right? Now, current iteration of the game? It takes a while for the shield to come back. We're not invincible yet. It should take... I remember correctly right with the math was 15 seconds right for it to come back so any second now there you go boom right but now because we tripled it up we can still take it four more times which means we can divide it not by four it's dividing it by eight so 50 divided by eight is that right did i fuck this up too hold on let me i need to whip out the calculator hold on give me one second I'm gonna try shooting randomly when I tab out. I think here, so don't be don't be uh, alarmed. Oh, that is not my calculator. That is paint. Hold on. Apparently, I only shoot once. Okay, calculator app. So let's do some let's do some math here. Um, let me add. Let me just so you can see, you at home can see what I'm doing here. Let's do a little window capture. There we go. That's the good stuff right there. So we got the calculator on the screen, right? So the normal time for the shield is two minutes. So we'll call that 120 seconds, right? First stalwart shield divide by two. Boom, 60. We got two more of these bad boys though. So divide by two, down to 30, divided by two, down to 15, right? Now, if I understand this correctly, and maybe I'm even wrong still, but if I understand this correctly, because we tripled up the Stalwart Shield, we are able to get Stalwart Shield four more times, because two of the copies just straight up don't count. Because that's how Saccade worked. I don't know why it would be different for Stalwart Shield here, right? Um, we got it, we got Saccade on the second triple up, so we hit five, and we're able, or maybe we even hit four, I forget, but we were able to take more Saccades beyond five, so. Anyway, so, assuming we can get four more, so we divide by two again. Right, we're at 7.5. Divide by two again. Divide by two again. Divide by two again. So, us getting hit, we will take 0.9375 seconds to bring our shield back. There's a decent bit of a grace period when you lose your shield, where you can't take damage. I don't know if you've noticed it before. Decent bit of a grace period, which means... I would not be shocked if, and maybe I'm wrong, but I would not be shocked if we are able to become 100% invulnerable right now. I'm excited to see. I, I make no promises here. 
I don't want to triple. Actually, I do, I do want to triple up if we see it. Okay. We got the triple. Cool, cool, cool. Looking for another stalwart. Very easily could miss it, but if we when we hit our level here, we're going to reroll. Okay, no thank you. We whiffed. We whiffed. Oh no. Uh, what do you want? I am curious how extra extra copies of Holy Shield interact with this. I don't know how they do. I haven't been able to kind of pinpoint that one out. If you know, I, I assume it does nothing. That's kind of my guess. I kind of don't want to take any more because I feel like it might like reset our cooldown or something. Let's just take. Let's just triple up the glare here. Get even. Get even more vision range. Let's take a look here, right? So right now we have one. Two. These, these are. Oh, these are. These are. Which one did we take before? This one. So we have one glare. Two, three, four. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Just six. Oh, we have six now. Okay. So, moment of truth now as well. Again, more scientific data. Does this mean that we cannot? Oh my God! Look at all those trees. Does this mean we cannot? get any more default glares we're currently at six the cap is five we extended past it with the uh shauna triple if my uh, thesis is correct god we need more pickup range maybe not i don't know but but if my theory is correct here it should be able to show up again in the pool now, one, one thing to note here as well we're almost at a we're almost at a triples. We're, we're, we use, we've used a lot of them. We've used one, two, three, four. We only have one more left in the pool. If we can hit a stalwart shield again, it's gonna be fucked up. Maybe we've we've exhausted the stalwart shields. Maybe they don't they don't show up anymore. Who knows? I had the calculator, I'm sorry. I had the calculator on the screen this whole damn time. Oh my god, I think you weren't probably weren't able to see half the upgrades. Oh my sorry. Okay, let's uh No more calculator for now. My bad. My bad. There wasn't anything there that was worthwhile. It was a glare, you, by the way, that I picked up before off the triple, if you were wondering. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, hello, hello, reindeer. I get a speed upgrade? No. Okay. Fuck you. Can you get your bullet damage below zero? How many stall? You know, we'll take it. Whatever. What's that put us at? How many shieldies we got? Okay, right now we hit the triple there, so it's one, two, three, four. Hmm. This is fucked up. This is dumb. I mean, I, I feel like I've already made the point more or less here that this is not good. But let, let's, I, I do want to like take it to the nth degree here if we can help, if we, if we can get there, right? Right now it's 7.5 seconds respawn. Hmm. <sighs> Okay. Oh. Yeah, these boys coming in again. I love just seeing circles from like, you know, previous moments where I stood still and didn't and didn't pick up the experience afterwards. That's pretty cool. Let's chill. It feels like the enemy's respawning faster before too. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because I have a, a glare build that infinitely kills everything as they enter the screen. But it, it does feel like the enemies are spawning uh, slower than they did before. 
So you're like, or, or, or in lower numbers, but I guess half of them are dying off. Cause like, you gotta keep in mind, the screen is wider than it is taller. So let's roll this. These all suck. Hey, Divine Blessing is a move speed increase, actually. That's pretty tight. The screen is wider than it is taller, so there's enemies up and below us that are that are out of our vision range that are vision range that are just dying. So there's actually like probably I mean like maybe almost twice as many enemies as we're seeing. They're just off the screen dying, more or less. I'm sure there's some math guy out there who can be like, oh, well, actually, the... Oh, oh, oh hold on, let's, let's see if we can figure this out, right? So... What percentage of the circumference of our circle is off-screen right now? That looks like... Hold on. If I were to draw lines, if I had to guess, I would say we're looking at... That's like a solid 45 degree angle, right? I don't want to do the trigonometry, but you could do trigonometry to probably figure out the uh, the radius of the circle, and then from there, figure out. I don't know. Well, actually, fuck me. No, wait, 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 we can just do. We can just. It's 360 degrees. If that's a 45 degree angle there, that's 90 degrees of the 360. So is it? Nah, this seems wrong too. It must be more than a 45 degree angle. I don't know. I give up. What's the answer? Yeah, give me shatter. Why the fuck not, right? Like let them let them also explode when they die too. Perfect. That's what we needed. A boss a boss died over here by the way. I don't know if you saw that. Sure, magic magic site. Why not? Let's kill him from even further away. Let's pick up this too. Is it the last triple? Not the last triple, but more experience, which is good. I haven't seen any halos yet, which is interesting. I do enjoy the experience. Leveling up here is very good. Also, something interesting to note, someone mentioned to me that they felt like the experience gains were lowered on endless mode. And I was like, maybe, but also maybe the enemies have more HP, so they're harder to kill. I'm gonna say it, they lower the XP gains. Like it's definitely harder to level up because we're 28 minutes into this run. I've murdered literally every single enemy instantly when it spawns, basically. And we are not a very high level. <laughs> like we we cannot we could not kill faster if we if we wanted to. I would say. So I don't know what the issue is. Why are we only level 35? 28 minutes into a run where we've killed every single enemy and and well not organize all of it, but pretty neatly organize most of its experience in a circle around us. Right? Like, it doesn't make any damn sense. Something's off, for sure, with the experience games, which is fine, too, I guess. Like, I'm not... It doesn't matter, whatever. You can make the experience games whatever you want. It's, it's cool. It's fine. But I don't know. It's kind of whack. I should have taken Shatter. It's actually just annoying, the noise, of the, the sound effect right now. It just, it just made them dying louder. That's all this has done. To what end? Uh, anyone anyone watch anything cool on YouTube lately? Before recording this, I was watching the I was watching Ludwig's Mogul Mail Live. That was pretty entertaining. It was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Um anything else I've been watching? Gotta, gotta get around to watching Voyax's series on Braids. Uh, never played Braids. Interested to see it. Um, what the hell? Okay, oh, there's a boss. Never mind. How foolish of me to think there was a boss up here. My apologies. I have, uh, my mistake. <sighs> Let's see. Do you think we can escape? Can we escape our prison? I think we can do it. Hold on. Let's go over the corner. Ready? Yeah. We did it. We're cracked. Speed upgrade, please. No? Am 
Am I a liar? Did I max out on stalwart shields? I don't know. Hey, you guys want to get a bunch of dragons? Drag dragon D's nuts? Got them. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, How many stalwart shields do we have? Am I just going crazy or are we just getting unlucky here? Because hold on. We only have four, right? One, two, three. We don't even have five. Eh, whatever. It's cool. No biggie. How many frostbites do I have? Frostbites. We have one, two, three, four. Okay, here's here's a weird theory that I have. Is the limit four? <laughs> Is the limit not five? Is it four? Have I just been bamboozled? Why do I have seven saccades then? <laughs> Hold on. Let's look at this again. How many did I have? How many glares did I have before I tripled it? So we had one. One glare. Two. Three. And then I tripled. So four, five, six. I have not seen any glares since. Let's look at Saccade. So Saccade was one. Triple, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I don't understand what's happening. Nothing makes any sense. I, I, I resign. My theories about this game, I think, are just wrong. I'm sorry I tried to use the scientific method to figure out the mechanics of the game mode in regards to Shauna's triple up uh, special. They seem to have just no consistency. They, they totally are just acting on a whim I don't know I wanted to have answers for you and I'm sorry to say I just have no damn idea I think four is the limit oh that doesn't that mean that we also can't see triple up anymore then we've already hit the limit on triple up too right maybe I don't know who knows right Cthulhu should be here in another minute and a half. Let's see if we get the triple up there. I think we call it at that point. If we if we get the triple up, sure. If not, whatever. <sighs> Could get Halo also just to see, you know, how far our vision goes after getting one Halo. But I don't even care. Give me a frost mage. Hmm. You know what I just realized? This glare build would work well with spark. Because I was thinking about it right now. Just, just on my own here. Thinking about it and I was like, it's kind of a shame that like the glare build, the on hit effects are... Uh, freeze and burn but not lightning because lightning is not an on hit it's just on fire effect I'm pretty sure I imagine maybe it also triggers this lightning who knows but spark is specifically a, a an on hit effect although it might be worded as when a bullet hits but I imagine the on hit effects would from from a magic site would trigger sparks passive but I've never tried it if you if you know I'd love to if you leave me a comment telling me how that interacts if you know. If you don't know, then you don't know. And don't go out of your way to find out. Like, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not actually that useful of information. I was just curious about it right myself, just thinking about it right now. It doesn't really matter. Where's Cthulhu? Oh, probably... I was going to say, probably already dead. What do we got here? Yeah, I think... Something's wrong. Maybe not something. Again, we can't, we can't say for certain. Let's... Okay, here, here's the plan. Take Holy Shield. We're gonna wait for the reindeer to show up, and we're gonna see if we can uh, die to the energy field. That is the current plan. Enemies can't kill us, obviously. So we have to let God kill us. Ugh! 
Hmm. We could also just leave the game running overnight too, again, but that doesn't seem that interesting. I think, you know, old, old, old news. We've already done it before. It's not that interesting to have the game crash because we have too many experience orbs on the screen. Although I wonder if we can get, here's something interesting, right? I wonder how the game renders the XP orbs when they're off, off screen, right? If we can get our vision range so high, the enemies are dying just entirely off our screen. I wonder if it'll affect the actual run speed of the game too poorly. I imagine when we eventually move to collect those experiences, those experience orbs, we will die. And by dying, I mean the game will crash, but I'm interested to see. I would be interested if I was willing to leave the game running overnight, but I don't want to do that. So we're not going to. Okay, so I thought Frostbite was capped at four by my previous theory, but I am wrong, because that is Frostbite number five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now now we're forced. The game has forced my hand. We have to see if we can get the the triple up on the, on the shield. Now that I know there's not some sort of weird bug happening where four is the actual limit, now that I know the limit is actually five still, now we have to see this through to the end. And please, by all means, feel free to fast forward. You're just gonna hear me ranting for a really long time about things that don't matter. The end. Um, but fast forward, you know, no hard feelings if you wanna go to the end. Uh, hello, reindeer. Got a lot of health now, huh? Took you a while to get frostbitten down. Almost speed, hell yeah. We're going, ready? What? There you go, baby. It's just that easy. Um. <sighs> Can we play another game while we're doing this? Would that be illegal? I don't know. Oh, the box is coming. Making its way over. Here come these sons of guns. Hey, you want to play chess? You guys want to play a little chess? I've, I'm very rusty, but I've, I've been getting back into it a little bit. Let's do that, actually. Fuck this game. Why don't we let us some experience collect here? Well, you're going to have to excuse the shots for a moment. Hold on, let me go to, to chess.com. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, what? I always want to call it Lee Chess. But isn't it like, isn't it like Li Chess or something? I don't know. Um. How do I, let's log in. There we go. Hey, get out of here, pop-ups. I don't care about this shit. I still have my membership, too. I got a membership because I really like doing the puzzles. I still like doing them, but I haven't actually played too much. And we're playing against a bot. I'm not ready to play against real people yet. Again, very rusty. Let's go, let's go against Amir. This guy seems like a pushover. So, let's... Go to OBS. Do a little window capture. Look at that. Hold on, we gotta make it smaller though. Um. There we go. Let's do one round here. Let's just collect all the experience. Oh, we're lagging. We're lagging. Yeah, good thing we did this before, but the game crash. <laughs> Um, oh, so we can take more glares as well. Okay. I don't know. I, I guess I'm just unlucky with the stalwart shields, huh? Because that's, that's a big glare number, right? So that's, again, what are we at? Glare one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. So according to my theory, that should be the limit on glare. There should be no more glares. According to my very thoroughly researched scientific theory. Correct? I think we can all agree. Definitely correct. Okay. Got the experience. There's stalwart shield. I will take it. Okay. Are you guys ready for some chess? Let's choose you. Boo, 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 boo. And let's hop in. We are white. Now listen. You know me. I'm all about that, that Queen's Gambit. For sure. Always. 100%. What the fuck is this? Modern defense? What the fuck does that mean? You play Magic the Gathering? Um... Let's, let's, let's control the center. Everyone always says control the center. It's very important. You are attacking my pawn. I will move my knight here to defend that pawn. Getting these pieces out of the way so we can get an early castle in. Can I get you to stop shooting, maybe? Hold on. Uh... It seems like a nothing move. Think again. We want to get this bishop out of here so we can get our castle opened. Not in a big rush to do it. I think like uh, this seems fine. I don't like this because it's blocking our pawn from moving up. Could go for a check and then retreat to the bishop when they push the pawns up here, but that's kind of you know seems like a waste of time too. Let's do this. Pretty good. You know what? Oh, you think you're so tough, don't you? Copying my castle strategy. Why are you so shooting? How do I get you to stop? You stopped before. We good? Okay, I think we're good. Um. So now, what is the is the question? I kind of like maybe moving this pawn up here. Just to get it in a, in a nice solid placement, the the pawn here is defending it. Sure. Seems fine. You know, what? actually, let's get some let's get let's get some experience before we crash the game. Hold on a second. Um. Give me more frostbites. We want to get this off the the pool of items that can show up. Hey, how's it going, by the way? We have a chest here. I guess you want to pick it up. Maybe we can get stalwart shield. When I stalwart shield, I mean triple. Oh, we finally have the halos. Maybe I should have actually skipped halo there so it didn't show up in the pool as well. Fuck. Oh, well. Yeah, probably a mistake there. Can you die so I can get the speed upgrade? Thank you. No speed. Coward. I need to get the XP out here too before the game crashes. Hold on. Yeah. Sure. No, let's take Divine Blessing. The Halo pieces are going to be here forever. We're never going to get rid of them. Let's just get these other ones out of the way so they maybe stop showing up in the pool, huh? Okay, let me back in. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Um, back to the chess game. So the queen, the queen moves seem pretty bad. Or I should, I should probably minimize the the board when I, uh. You can see most of the rewards there, maybe. I don't know. Where, where do I even have the board placed? I forget. Whatever, it's fine. I'll minimize the board next time we uh, we play in game there. So the queen play, pretty bad. We could try to push, capture, capture. We're threatening the queen. Let's just move the queen. It gives, it gives them tempo. Don't love it. I think we start mobilizing these pieces. Let's get, let's get the, the pawn out first. Huh. Uh -huh -huh. Something like this. If we put the if we put the bishop here, it's, it's attacking the knight, but it's not pinning it. I'll probably just move the knight. 
Let's get you in here. Let's just get our pieces active in the center of the board here, and eventually we'll just get into pieces to push through. Um, it's a, it's a thousand, the, the thousand rated bot makes mistakes pretty often. Um, we'll just bide our time here. We could... Again, the bishop up here is bad. Like, if they do this, what do we do? We just back up again? Like, like it's just a waste of time. Um... What about the what about the knight here? We put the knight here. Again, the bishop comes or the, the pawn comes in, just forces us out. The, the, it breaks up their, their pawn wall here a little bit, but it's not that useful. Maybe just push up the the the, the left side here with the pawns. Could get the queen involved. I will say in general, I'm pretty bad with the queen. Do you think they want to do a, a queen trade? Do you think we could just go like queen here, boom, we capture a little bit of tempo up the side of the board with the with the knight? Not a huge amount, but it's a little bit of something. Sure, let's do that. Let's force let's force them in here. Okay. Um. That's a little weird. Wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, we could just we could just once again trade the queens, right? We go in. I don't love that though. We could go now. Now the bishop here is kind of cool because the this this pawn can no longer push here and threaten us out. Let's go like this. Um, so if we take, hmm, it's not that good. I don't know what to do here. What did we, you know, let's get a little, let's a little reckless here. Let's move the knight up here. I think this is a bad decision in general. Let's get let's get let's get a little wild, right? Taking too long anyway. Oh, hey reindeer, how's it going? Oh, XP XP uh, break. Hold on, let me minimize this. The minimize net didn't minimize the game. Hold on. Where's the? Oh, here we go. Let's. There we go. That's good. We need to get an XP break here because we're starting to. Oh, we're lagging big time. Okay. We don't have a triple up right now, right? We took the, the halo piece last time. Okay. Let's do this. What's in the chest? More halos. Lame. Okay. That's Stalwart Shield number six. So this proves that we can get the Stalwart Shield past five, right? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can get Stalwart Shield one more time as well. Preferably on a on a on a triple up here, but we might not be able to guarantee that. Uh, can I get a speed up? You you absolute buffoon! I'm fucking out of here. Shit comes back pretty quickly. Let's I don't know roll these. These all kind of suck. Keep taking Divine Blessing. Give me that good, good move speed. Yoink, 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 yoink. Let me back in. Oh, almost fucked that up. Okay, take two. Here we go. Nope. Let me in. Nope, it's not letting me back in this time. I'm too fast. That's the issue. Anyway. Uh, back to chess. Oh, hold on. Not back to chess. Sorry. Where'd you go, Chess? Is that working? Are we capturing? Perfect. Okay, back to Chess. Um, where's my mouse cursor? A 
Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Um, so they moved that pawn before, which I don't love. Don't love that. Oh, you know what we can do? Oh, check this out. This is a dirty play. Check this shit. Boom. Fuck you. By the way. Um... Let's just get, let's just go in. We're attacking this side of the board hard right now. Mm. Okay, so I think if you do like, a, if we do this, they take, we, I don't know what we do after that. <laughs> Not much, if I'm being honest. You know what? Let's just get. Let's just start doing some shit. Let's just start taking pieces wherever we can. Um. Let's get our. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Check this shit out. Fuck that. Fuck that pawn. We go. Boom. You can capture. You don't capture because you're afraid. Wasn't paying attention over here, but that's fine. It's honestly not even scary right now. Um, just take it. You fucker. Um, If we if we go oh check this out so if we go if we go rook here they can take but then we can take back right if we go rook here and then they run away this is not safe this is not safe this is not safe this is the only place they can retreat the queen to and at that point when we bully the queen out I think we're gonna be able just to kind of take over this. Right? Or am I missing something here? I don't know. This seems pretty sick to me. And look at that! See, the computer says, too scary. Bingo, bango. Um... He, he's the greatest to ever do it. Uh, I'm worried about the XP piling up here, so let's hang tight for a second. Let me open up OBS again. Hide the capture. Not back in here. Oh, it's lagging. Need to pick this up. Um, sure, more holy shield, whatever. Is this triple up? No. But more XP is good here. That's the last stalwart shield. We could take it here, but I want to try to triple up this last one as well. I want to go all in on the on the trips. We already have pyromage, so we'll take Pyr pyromage. We don't unlock any more perks in the in the pool. Which is why we should have never taken the Halo pieces, by the way. Tragic mistake on my part. Okay, well, it's Stalwart Shield or more perks now, I guess. We'll take Vitality so we can get more Speed Tums later. That's just, that's just simple math right there. Okay, the game really wants to give me more Vitality, huh? Give me Holy Shield. Mm. Okay, I guess I guess holy shield again. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, that's good. Back to back to the real game. Oh fuck, we're shooting. There we go. Okay, back to the real game. Um, we can go knight here. Doesn't really do anything necessarily. Although it does get us a discovered attack on the rook here, so they'll have to move that out of the way. Yeah, sure, what the fuck, why not, right? I'm dumb. I'm so stupid. I'm actually a buffoon. Um That's what happens when you when you walk away from the game and just come in and you look at one move and go, ooh, I can take a piece and not realize that you're hanging your queen in the process. So that's neat. 
Um, can't really take here. We can, what if we do this? We do this first. Now we can take this, and they can take our horse, and we'll just take with the king afterwards. Um, this is a this is a free pawn hanging. This is a free horse. Yo, they're throwing. They're throwing hard here. They had it, and they just threw it. That's crazy. You can have that. That's fine. Um. We got like a pass pawn here. Guess we just move you up. What the fuck was that? Oh, I guess I just boss just died, huh? I just heard like the weird splat noise. I thought maybe I died in the game and I was like, what the heck? up here we go get a queen okay a good good try sir and that's checkmate or am i crazy there you go see it's just that easy folks you can still blunder your queen and win the game no problem Analysis? Who cares about the analysis? No one cares about the analysis. That doesn't matter. Five mistakes, three blunders? Oof. Yeah, that's a rough one. Not surprising, though. Uh, let's... Let's see... Let's go back to the actual video game now. Let's close that. Um... Maybe have more speed. We do not have more speed. That's sad. Any any chests? No chests. Okay, huh? Take some more experience. Why not? Roll. Ah, I should take take divine wrath here. Oh, chest. Perfect. Tri triple up? No. Boo. How dare you? I run out of ideas. We played we played a game of chess. We did math on a calculator. What more can I do? I can go pee. I kind of have to pee a little bit. I didn't think this video would be this long. Um, could just take stalwart shield. It's like an option. Just to see how close to unkillable we are. I'm committed. At this point, I'm committed, right? We gotta see if we can hit the triple on the stalwart shield. Just just one time for the one time. Is it... Hold on. Do we see a chest... Every, how often do we see them? Is it every 10 minutes? That seems too long, right? We get, we get coughing to show up at some point. Coughing shows up at, like, I want to say the 8 minute mark. Oh, it's so long. It's so long, man. If I see Star Wars Shield, I'm just gonna take it, I think. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take seven. You don't need nine. You don't need nine Star Wars Shields. But well, while we're waiting, let's do the math on how, how good nine Star Wars Shields is. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Calculator. There, our, our old friend is back. Um, so, again, 120. Why did YouTube start auto-playing a, 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 a video, a, a yard video? What the fuck? YouTube, please. I'm trying to do math. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to like fucking, oh no, I have to go into fucking, I have to go into Premiere and I have to cut out the audio. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> this sucks. Let me, hold on, let me make a note. How, where in the recording are we? 
the, the hour and nine minute mark, this fucking piece of shit YouTube thing starts auto playing a video. God damn it. Hold on, my pencil's over there. Give me one second. It's a mess. This is an absolute mess. <sighs> so, hello, I'm back. If you didn't hear me, sit down. So, the hour and nine minute mark. Leave that there for now. So I know. Okay. Let me out. You're still alive? Excuse me? Sure, give me a shatter here, whatever, fuck it. You know, whatever, give me halo pieces too, I don't get, I don't care. Give me a fucking halo. I'm Master Chief, anyway. Sorry, we were doing math before, I forgot. So, 120. Oh, this fucker. Don't shoot. So, 120 divided by 2. That's the first stalwart shield. If, if this is 9 stalwart shields, divided by 2. So that's 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. 7. 8. This is how long the shield will be gone before it comes back. One fourth of a second. The the invincibility grace period, I'm pretty sure, is longer than that. So if we do hit the triple up on this on this shield right now, we are actually unkillable as well. As all the other bullshit that's happening. But this is this is my last I actually you know what? At this point ah, no, not at this point. If, when coughing shows up, if coughing don't drop that damn chest, and if it don't drop, I mean it's gonna drop a chest, but if it, if it doesn't give us the triple up here, I abandon mission. But you understand the proof of concept here at least, right? Well, you can see that it is possible. Stalwart shield is showing up as a potential drop for us here, which means that in that in theory the the point two three uh, shield is possible. I rest my case. Thank you, Your Honor. Although I guess we have to also test then how uh, how long it takes to get damaged, right? Like, or how long the, the grace period lasts. So what we'll do is, uh, after we get coughing to die and we get the chest, when the Shogath shows up, I'm going to ram my face into the energy barrier that it creates. And what the fuck? Oh, there we go. What do we got here? Nope, okay. Fuck you. Stalwart shield, please? No? Fuck you again? What halo pieces do we need? I don't know. Whatever. I do need to I do need to get um the thing right now. Oh, I, I, I guess we don't we don't even need the Oh my god, I just got I turned to the left. And my own hair was sticking out a little bit. I thought there was a person behind me, and I thought I was going to get my neck snapped. Oh my god, I got like a shiver down my spine. I got goosebumps right now. Jesus Christ. What were we talking about? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Oh hey, the halo's here. She's sick. Perfect, just what I need. Infinite vision range. Okay. Um. Fuck. Oh, the calculator is still on the screen. This is a shit show. This is an unbelievable shit show. Get this fucker out of here. Oh my god, this is just an absolute disaster. Oh man. Oh man. So. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna test we're gonna test how long the window is on the stalwart shield. 
grace period, right? So we're going to run into the energy wall. Shouldn't the Shogath be here already? Isn't like the... Am I mixing it up? I thought like the 50... Whatever, who cares? But the Shogath does show up first, huh? Anyway. So, I guess we gotta wait till the reindeer? Uh, it sucks. I hate this. <laughs> okay. So we wait till the reindeer. We're just gonna ram ourselves into the wall as fast as we can, and we'll get a rough as not an exact measurement, but we'll get a rough estimate of how long the grace period after your shield breaks is. So we can determine whether or not nine stalwart shields is enough for infinite invulnerability. Oh, the shield is here. Shit. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Fuck. No. Okay. Round two. Round two. Ready? Okay. So we can, we can, I can't measure that, but afterwards we can measure that and we can see how much damage we took. I'm ready. Honestly, I'm ready to die here too, I think. Let's see if we can get back in there. Do it. I'm, I'm ready to drop. Fuck you, by the way. Let's uh, let's get one more measurement here. That wasn't a very good one, I think. But you get the idea, roughly, probably, maybe. Who knows? Um. Thanks for thanks for watching. I gotta go. <laughs> Goodbye.